Welcome to Daily Bible Benefits. Today is Tuesday, February 6th. On this day in 1952, after a long illness, King George VI of Great Britain in Northern Ireland dies in his sleep at the royal estate at Sandringham. Princess Elizabeth, the older of the king's two daughters, and next in line to succeed him, was in Kenya at the time of her father's death. She was officially crowned Queen Elizabeth II on June 2, 1953, at the age of 27. Today on the podcast, I'll be talking about more divisions in the church, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 23. And I, brethren, cannot speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk, and not with meat. For hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one said, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Paulos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believe, even as the Lord gave to every man? I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then, the, so then neither is he that planteth anything, neither is he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every one, every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building, according to the grace of God which is given unto me. As a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another man buildeth thereon. For let every man take heed how he buildeth thereon. For another foundation can no man lay that that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, and stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, and him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? Let no man deceive himself, if any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, for it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore let no man glory in men. For all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos of Cephas or the world, or life or death, or things present or things to come, all are yours, and ye are Christ, and Christ is God's. Preoccupation with self. Someone remarked, someone remarked to the director of a mental institution, I imagine all the people in here are beside themselves. No, you're wrong, the doctor replied. They're shut in here, not because they're beside themselves, but because they are inside themselves. They think of nothing else but self. When preoccupation with self becomes your problem, you become a problem for the world and to God himself. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Bible Benefits. Have a good and godly day.